guys, this is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. That is the official Discovery Channel website all about space, and this is a weekly wrap-up and preview for the site. Welcome to the iTunes watchers. You guys are probably wondering who the heck I am. What I do is I run you through all the big space news that happened last week and all the space news that's coming up this week on the site. Uh, let's jump right into things with the wrap-up. You guys probably heard about Mars last week. Lots of methane being discovered there. Tabloids freaking out saying, this is life, proof of life on Mars. Well, it's not true. We don't know until we can get a spacecraft down there. But by the way, here's the piece of news. This is a uh, picture of Mars, kind of can't really see it that well, but this is a map of methane coming uh, on the red planet here. See these two red spots? That's where it's coming out concentrated. And what happens here is the methane comes out of the ground and light from the sun, the UV light, breaks it down. So it's being replenished. Now that's really interesting because it's, that means it's coming out of the ground and something has got to be responsible for it. It could be microbes or it could be geologic activity. Uh, we won't know until we get a spacecraft down there, so don't believe the tabloids when they say that we found life on Mars. It's not true yet. Uh, but that's really big news. We put a giant package together for you guys on this. Tons of video. Uh, we have a top 10. We have uh, an IM interview. We have all kinds of stuff for you. And if you go to the Space Disco blog, if you guys are on your iPod, you're going to have to get online. But if you're on uh, YouTube right now, look to your right. There is a more info button. Click that. That will take you to the blog. That's at blogs.discovery.com forward slash space underscore disco and uh, you can get to that package and uh, by the way I, I put up a blog post and it kind of made me wonder you know where the stuff is coming from and maybe perhaps this is one explanation I don't know if you can read that it says um excuse me did anyone fart in here so that's a bad joke and uh, next piece of news this is really isn't news but if you guys know the bad astronomer Phil Plate he has a blog on Discover Magazine not related to Discovery Channel and he pointed to this really cool site called Megapenny. Now, I like to use this to sort of compare the number of stars in uh, each galaxy and how many galaxies are out there. This is 100 billion pennies, and this is a little guy down here. This is a football field. See this little speck? That's a guy. Okay, so if you were to put 100 billion pennies into a block, that's what it look, would look like. How many stars in the Milky Way? About 400 billion, plus or minus 200 billion. So four times this many stars are in our galaxy alone. That's crazy. Now here's the even crazier part. Multiply this times about 100 to 200 billion. That's how many galaxies there are in the universe, we think. So just think about that. That's pretty crazy. I uh, thought, thought you guys would like to uh, hear about that. Uh, next piece of news, NASA's Mike Griffin, the administrator of the agency, said his farewell on January 16th. And uh, there's a lot of speculation right now uh, pretty grounded speculation about who's going to be taking his place. And so far, the consensus is this guy. This is Scott Gratian, who is a uh, Air Force Major General, and he's been uh, with Obama since about 2007, I think, uh, working on his campaign. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that shapes up. Obama still hasn't officially said who it is, but insiders on the transition team have said it once again that it's this guy. So anyway, that's your wrap-up for the site. Next week, uh, starting Tuesday because of Martin Luther King Day, you guys can expect a big package about cosmic collisions. The Discovery Channel has a show coming out in the next couple weeks here called Cosmic Collisions. It's a three-part series, one hour episode each. I've watched them. They're amazing. Um, information packed, really cool animations. And so we put together a big package for you guys. We're going to be rolling it out this week. we got a quiz. We have a Q&A with an expert on cosmic collisions. We have a How Stuff Works article, which is a partner of Discovery. Uh, so be sure if you go to HowStuffWorks.com, uh, you can find boatloads of great space content there. And also we have a video for you guys on cosmic collisions and how they probably spurn life and things like that. So uh, thanks for joining in and hope to see you next week.